long cold wait for hundreds who lined up outside Toys R Us in Greenville overnight, all for a chance to purchase the popular toys Nintendo Classic Edition and Hatchimals. Some paid hundreds just for a chance to buy the toys. WNCT's Josh Birch reports. Black Friday may have been a couple weeks ago, but don't tell that to the couple hundred people that spent the night waiting outside this Toys R Us. Legs are okay, feet are kind of numb, everything else I'm great. For a lucky few, their Sunday prayers were answered in the form of Hatchimals and the latest Nintendo system. Rebecca Lane drove all the way from LaGrange, arriving at Toys R Us at 9.30 Saturday night, the first one in line. I had to do it, do it for my children. I do it for my community and I do it for my family and friends. For some parents like Marquise Lawrence, they did it for their kids. It's one of the hottest toys this year and she lives in Texas, so I just wanted to get it for her because she's been calling and said, if Santa don't bring it, she don't want nothing else. But Santa is bringing it, at least for a few. Hundreds got turned away empty-handed. Others, like Daniel Bissett, paid big bucks just for a chance to buy the goods. I paid $100 for the person's ticket. Why? Because I wanted one really bad. The Hatchimals, one of the most popular toys for kids this year. But the Nintendo Classic Edition, more for the adults, some selling it for as much as several thousand dollars online. Those we spoke with say it's a trip down memory lane. It makes you think of your childhood. We, a lot of people grew up on this stuff and we just love it. I've been waiting for the NES. When it first came out, I wasn't able to get it. Um, and I just really want it as a Christmas present for fa my family. Can't squish the eggs. <laughs> But and thanks to some patience and a bit of luck, some are in for a very Merry Christmas in Greenville. We got our hats and all. Josh Birch, nine on your side. One woman says someone offered her a ticket for the Hatchables for free. She was emotional and said that was true Christmas spirit. 